coverage you can count on continues in Grovetown, where a man is dead and a woman is clinging to life tonight after a shooting. News Channel 6's Casey Greenalge has been following this story for us all day. She's live now in the newsroom with new information. Casey? Investigators are still working to piece together exactly what happened. Officers responded to a 911 call this morning where they found the two victims, one already dead, the other barely hanging on to her life. Neighbors crowded at the scene while trying to find out more answers. And I just kept going back and forth saying, that's not her house, that's not her house, is it her house? Mary Kulbiski, one of many neighbors shocked by the crime scene tape and police presence on their street Tuesday morning. She says she personally knew the woman who lived in this home on Northrop Place. Grovetown Chief Scott Wheatley says GPD responded to a shots fired 911 call around 645. Investigators say it appears a domestic dispute led to an attempted murder-suicide. When they arrived on scene, they found two uh, victims in the house with gunshot wounds. Um, one was pronounced uh, dead here at the scene by the coroner's office. One was transported to the hospital is in, current, in critical condition um, and right now is still under investigation. Investigators said the man suffered a gunshot wound to the head and was pronounced dead. The woman had been shot in the chest and was in critical condition. She is absolutely a sweetheart. Um, super smart, super pretty. This is all just like really shocking. Neighbors gathered outside wondering how it all happened. It's a shocker, I guess, for our whole neighborhood just to go, well, you know, that's that quiet family. Hours into the investigation, CID investigators showed up along with uniformed military personnel. Neighbors say the woman is in the Air Force and the man was in the Army. Kevin Waller says the two were in their 20s, married, and your typical American neighbors. I'm hoping that they get to the bottom of this and our prayers go out. The names of the victims have not yet been released until next of kin are notified. The investigation is still ongoing.